everybody, Pookie TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say this and I know it's gonna fall on deaf ears. It, 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 it would never happen. I mean, I'm saying it would never happen, it could happen, but it'll take a lot for it to happen. Rappers, attention to all rappers. All rappers in that industry. Boycott the labels. Boycott the fucking labels. It's enough of y'all out there making money. This is why they want y'all separated. This is why they want y'all separated. Boycott the labels. Y'all can put y'all goddamn money together. What y'all don't even need that shit. Advances and shit. Y'all wouldn't need that shit, man. These motherfuckers is making fucking fist over. Man, they making so much goddamn money off of y'all niggas until you fucking, next thing you know, a bullet in your fucking head. And then they still get paid. Because they got insurance out on you. That insurance don't go to your mom. It don't go to your kids. It goes to the labels because they need them to coops. Ain't that fucked up? Even after you dead, they want to recruit a recoup from your dead ass. He think he just gonna die on us when he owe this goddamn bill. Uh uh. Got a trick for this nigga here. Yeah, we yeah, we took a yeah, we took about a thirty million dollar uh, insurance out on him. He has that to cover everything. Meanwhile, your family and them putting up a goddamn What's that shit called, man? What's that shit called, man? When they donate to people and shit. What's that shit called, man? I can't even fucking remember. What is that shit called? Whatever. It's that donate shit, you know what I'm talking about. When they fucking they at the funeral and shit. Uh, or no, they tell me we need to, uh, we need to do a donation to, so we can pay for all the burial and everything that's going on and and what? What? And they don't and, and the little gonna jump in there and say you know we yeah, we raping the shit out of them. So I think we could pay the uh, for the funeral and the cost of the funeral and shit. The other person said uh uh no you doing that out of your percentage. Are you doing it out of your percentage? Because if you do it out of your percentage, then hey, uh, whatever you want to do with your shit. But don't be including our shit. Don't include our shit. Did you hear any of us say we want to do that? So this is your feeling. Do what you got to do. But don't fuck with our percent. We need ours. Y'all just don't get it, man. They don't give a fuck about you. Like DMX said, but they couldn't make a fucking dime without you. R.I.P. DMX, man. They wasn't listening to you, bro. They must have thought you was talking ridiculous. They didn't listen to the jewels you was dropping. Soon they will. Hopefully it's before it's too late. It's so easy to put insurance on people without them even knowing. You think these hood niggas thinking about some goddamn insurance? When they talk about ops and slide and fuck, you think they talk about some goddamn insurance? Should barely any of them read their full contract. They just see, oh yeah, so that's gonna be okay. So so that's the amount right now that I get right now from that? that this the amount? That's the amount? Okay. You need my social security card and stuff? Okay. Oh, am I supposed to write this in blood? I, I guess that's what everybody doing these days. Yep. Yep. Poke yourself and write in goddamn blood too. You don't even know what the back of the contract say, man. The side effects. 
of that goddamn contract, man. Says your mama won't get shit, your kids won't get shit, you won't get shit, you'll be buried in shit, and we don't give a shit. You so happy to see that goddamn amount. You can't wait. You assign any goddamn thing. Run to the house. Mama! Everybody, pack up, everybody. Next thing you know, after your time runs out, they're coming to get the house. To, what's that? What, what's that? IRS on your ass. Because they didn't teach you about IRS. You thought that, that people was taken care of. Everything really got it. That's what they, they love to say that, don't they? Everything's taken care of. <laughs> Being a goddamn industry, you should know goddamn better when somebody tells you some shit like that. I don't worry about it. Everything's taken care of. You best to worry about it. Because they fucking lying to you, man. Shit ain't taken care of. You get to court. How come I owe $7.8 million to the IRS and them? My um, person said that, 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 that he took it care of. IRS said, well, shit ain't nobody take care of. So you, you, your name on it. So I don't know who you had to take care of it. Or what you thought you thought. Uh-uh. You. We need that. Now. Run it. And now this nigga on fucking live crying and saying what the fuck happened. Hey, man, I don't trust these people, man. They, they told me that they were going to pay my taxes and I don't have to worry about nothing and, and, and everything is okay. And now I owe 7.8 million. I'm, I'm going to go to jail for it. And what they tell you? Did you read your contract? You couldn't make it past the money amount. You, everything that was after the money amount, you didn't give a fuck about. You didn't give a fuck about. You didn't care about it. You seen that goddamn amount and you went goddamn nuts. Whenever somebody gives you what you think is high, what do you think they get? Ask Master P. He broke it down. One of the best to do it. One of the best to goddamn do it. You heard what Lisa Lopez said, and when was this? What time in era was this? All that shit they sold, and they had a goddamn Jeep wagon. <laughs> they gave these girls a goddamn Jeep wagon, man. You see what happened with a uh, new edition? Them niggas got a dollar and 63 cents. Why would you even put that on a check? It takes three dollars just to cash it. And he came up in there and they was happy. You know how niggas get. They thought it was Christmas in that bitch. After they had got they got them scooters and shit. And in a VCR and five <laughs> Shit, man, they did my niggas dirty, man. They did my niggas dirty, man. Why would you even come into a house, man, it, 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 and hand people this shit and think it is okay? And say, and say, I'm like, man, <laughs> nigga, you wouldn't have left that goddamn room, bro. You wouldn't have left that goddamn room. You wouldn't have left it, bro. Can you imagine? Nigga, y'all depending on this nigga to build this shit. You been say, hey, we gonna do this, gonna be done right. Get the bills and shit take care of, they take care of. Y'all in there rubbing y'all palms and shit. And here come the man with the goddamn shit. And he take that, take out the checks and was looking at me. And he's like, oh, Lord, there go the envelopes. There go the envelopes. Couldn't wait to dig that shit over. Just like it was a Christmas present, nigga. Rip it all off, nigga. And first you think it's like, you think it's 160000 You're like, oh, shit, then you look. It's only one. A one six. No, a 1.63. Dollar sign. So, a hundred and six. We got a, a dollar sixty-three. We just on tour and out there for two years. I'm exaggerating this shit, but that you know what I'm talking about. Who's on that goddamn road? And you mean to tell me 
all the places we be in, all the sold out crowds, all the big, we got a dollar and 63 cents. He would see me just walk closely, slowly by the door and lock that bitch. That's all he would have heard was a lock. We ain't talking about this. You ain't leaving this goddamn room till we get our fucking money, nigga. Your mom in there crying at the table, grabbing her Bible. The other parents yelling across the room. You mad as hell. He tried to calm y'all down with these goddamn dollar and sixty three checks. I punch on your motherfucking nose, nigga. Bust your shit so fuck. That's like somebody having need heart surgery. We got some. We found some. We found one. Do you know how excited you gonna be? You gonna print all the print them them paid off. And they come in there talking about, uh, oh yeah, we, it was just a little goat, a goat heart. Yeah, I don't, we don't think it's gonna fit. We don't think it's gonna fit in. It, it had to be too small, but it's like a little, it's like a little goat heart. And we thought it'd be able to pump like a human's heart, but it'd be a lot of adjustments. We got to get a couple of wrenches, um, needles and threads, gauze, and I was, I'm thinking we use some chicken breast, just a little bit of chicken breast to even it out around. Just to make sure it, it, it'll pump the way it's supposed to be. Nigga, whatever energy I got left in my fucking body. You know how much of a letdown that is, my nigga. You been praying for this heart. They tell you we found one. You thinking and y'all, you in there laughing and happy, your family, everybody in there hugging and, and crying and shit. And then he come in there and say that. <laughs> shit, no, uh, man. Y'all need to th y'all need to boycott this shit. I'm just saying, for real. It ain't no reason why y'all couldn't. It's a, you guys got some powerful people out there that can that can do it. You got Dr. Dre. You got Ice Cube. I hate to say this nigga's name, man. But God damn. You got P. Diddy or Shitty or whatever. You got him. Um, you got Rick Ross. Um, Irv Gotti just did a little thing about them to have a lot, a, a lot of dough, too. And you got uh, who else? Who else? There's a lot of rappers, man. You got Meek Mill, Jay-Z. All these people, man. That can come together. It'll change the, it'll change the whole game. It'll change the whole game. Get the old rappers, too, to help get, you know, um, Grandmaster, get Grandmaster Flash, and, uh, and uh, what's his name, Dougie Fresh, and Kumo D, and Busy B, and Hurt, but I mean, not cool, Hurt, well, what's his name, uh, Karis One, I mean, Karis One, all these people, man, so you can have the foundation again. And, and come together and draft it out. And draft it out. Now you have one of the powerful labels and distribution that the music industry has ever seen. You don't have to worry about it no more. Because once a person buzz go down, money is getting scarce at the label. That's why you get these things when people drop from the label, um, shelf your project, 
um, tell you some shit that they think that can help your career, which is fucking ridiculous. You won't have to worry about none of that. Listen to DMX, man. Listen to DMX about the industry, man. Until then, don't fucking complain. Don't goddamn complain about it. Sick of hearing this. They labeled did this. They did that. They shelved my product. They put mine on the back burner. They did this. They did that. This is what they did. They can't. They got me out of this type of money. I, we know. It's not new. It's not new, man. Shit, crazy, man. You, you, don't, you don't even need that shit, man. Whatever, man. Common sense.